Hello everybody, my name is Damon, and welcome back to some more Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. When we last left off, we had just started this game. We... We, Fang, I, Fang, because I am Fang, we were playing as Fang. Fang decided that he was hungry. Uh, he visited this city, Zelwyn City, for some reason. He decided to travel here. Don't know where he came from, but he's a traveler, so there's nothing around here. Came to the city, was looking for some food. Some guy told him to p try pulling out a sword, because apparently you get any wish you desire if you pull out the sword. We did so, because I guess we're mythical men or something. I don't know. We pulled out the sword. A girl came out, and she's like, Oh, yeah, you're a fencer now. Now we gotta go collect a hundred fucking other swords. And I'm like, I don't know about that. And Fang's like, I'm just gonna go steal some bread. And he did, and then got thrown in prison for three days for stealing a single piece of bread. After which, Aaron broke us out of prison. Uh, we proceeded to kill 30 guards on the way out. Uh, we got sliced in half by some other fencer with a bigger sword than us. His, his sword has a dragon, it doesn't have a little girl in it. Um... Then we paid Kampa for some information on where to get another sword. So we went to the Soul Plains where we were supposed to get another sword. Uh, turns out there was a girl just having some tea there. Don't know why she was sitting there with a table set up, just waiting for someone to show up. She offered us some tea, decided to have it because, I mean, what's, what's so suspicious about a girl and a tea set at a tea table in the middle of the fucking plains, Fang? We drank it, we got paralyzed, she gave us the antidote, like, immediately. She grabbed the sword that she was probably sitting next to for, like, hours, then walked away, ran into a bandit, we caught up with her, and then she was like, Oh, Fang, my servant, defend me! And we did, because the guy attacked us instead of Tiara, which is her name, and then we beat him. And then Tiara's like, great, I'm gonna force myself into your party now, come to my inn. And I'm like, why? Who are you? You're so fucking weird. And then we saw some... Sh Sholstis guy or something. Some gentleman who killed like four bandits. They were, in fairness, rapists. But they were... I don't know if they deserve death. But in this world, death seems to mean not much. It's not a very moral thing, or an immoral thing. People kill, as long as they kill bad guys. And in our case, we just killed 30 fucking guards, Fang. Absolutely no problem with that. And the, the city has no problem with that. Apparently, we're not on some wanted list or anything. But now we're going to Tiara's Inn. And by the way, I, uh looked some things up because voice actors. Uh, turns out Fang is voiced by Santana or San Viento from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, Part 2 uh, Battle Tendency uh, yes Battle Tendency. Um, Tiara is apparently voiced by, well, Tiara um, from Hyperocean <laughs> and is also voiced by Little Rain. So that's really weird. Little Rain is kind of weird. Um, and we also have, um, I can't look where, where is Aaron? Aaron, we have Aaron, who is voiced by Moru and Blossom. So, not Keisha, or Uni. So, not, uh, unless the wiki just didn't list Keisha, which, honestly, I, I would, uh, expect. Oh, we already have their... We already have their full things! Oh, I can't listen to Kui. I wanna listen to Kui. Though it, it does not speak in any human t language, it can still communicate with Tiara. Great. Okay, anyways... Um... We're also on Hell Mode. I was planning on grinding up a little bit before starting up the session, but... Then we wouldn't see Tiara for the first time in battle, so we're not gonna do that. The Sunflower Inn. Apparently this is run by... Tiara's father, or friend, or something, I don't know. Here we are, the Sunflower Inn. Yeah. 
Apparently there's a five-star chef here. First, we should try this five-star food. Next, we'll eat some more five-star food. Then we'll eat even more five-star food. And finally, we're we'll up the day by eating the rest of the five-star food. I mean, it sounds like a pretty reasonable plan, not gonna lie. You... So, where is all this five-star food anyway? Welcome. I've been expecting you. Please, take good care of us. Who's this old lady? This is the manager of the inn, and my relative. She'll be cooking for us. This old lady's the five-star chef? She doesn't look the part. Do not worry. Her skill in the kitchen is on par with any five-star chef. You fraud! You totally lied to me! Her cousin's wife's eldest brother's friend is a five-star chef, which means by the transitive property that she is one too. What does that have to do with cooking? You know what society calls someone like her? A stranger! You got that? Hey, kid. You really don't believe that I'm a five-star chef, do you? Well, my last name happens to be Five Star. That really, that means I really am a five-star chef. What kind of stupid joke is that? It doesn't matter so long as the food tastes good, right? If you did pick the details, you end up with severe athlete's foot. What? What does that mean? Th that's not even possible. What kind of logic is that? I don't know. Oh my. You have athlete's foot, young man? No, I don't think so. That's gross, Fang. You better not walk around this place in your bare feet. Wh th that is absolutely, positively not true. My feet are 100% fungus free. Stop your complaining and let us hurry along to the room. There are some things I would like to discuss. I'll give you some medicine that'll clear up your athlete's foot in no time. Hope that cheers you up. Uh, like I said, I don't freaking have athlete's foot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the sunflower in. I don't like the sound of that, so we're gonna talk to Aaron instead. I'm glad we found a place to stay, but I'm still pretty mad at Tiara. Me too. She totally lied about this place having a five-star chef. You're still going on about that? I mean, I'm just kind of having trouble with Tiara in general. I don't like the sound of this. What did you want to talk about? Can you close your eyes for a bit? Uh, sure, I guess, but seriously, what's going on? You will know soon enough, but for now, please close your eyes. I really don't get it, but I guess I'll play along. Aaron, you too. This seems really suspicious. Again. And not only because she's already tricked us once. Uh, I know. Now then. Uh, Rumbles? What? Whoa! It feels like my body is floating and vibrating. Not yet. Do not open your eyes. <laughs> hey! Okay, you can open them now. Wh what the hell? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, the god and the goddess! Why are we here? Tiara, why are we here? W where is here? <laughs> what the? Where are we? Th 
that that is a very good question. I mean, I have an idea. I don't know what place this is in like actuality. I'm not sure what's with the background either. They're like pixelated for some reason. It's kind of low quality, but it's I I I, I understand this is where the two have been sealed. I don't know where this is though or why we're seeing this. What's a giant woman doing here? Oh wait, that's a statue. The, the goddess? Ah, so you noticed. As expected of a fairy. Well, what passes as a fairy, that is. What? Hey! She is inside a sword! I'm not gonna dignify that remark with a response. What is this place? How did we end up here? This is a dimension that exists between the boundaries of reality. In layman's terms, it is similar to a waking dream. This is my... no... a Kui special power. Kui! I see. That's an amazing ability. So... we're not in reality right now. Gotcha. That's pretty mysterious. Long ago, the goddess was sealed in this space, and over there, you can see... The Vile God? Huh? That's right, the Vile God. I'm a living entity who attempted to destroy the world long ago. As you can see, he is currently sealed by the sword stabbed into his body. You're right. I could detain a faint flicker of magical energy. He's not dead then. The same goes for the goddess too. Ah. Now that I'm seeing this up close, what are those sword things supposed to be? They are furies, but the power of the fairies residing in them has diminished over time. Oh, you're right. Those are furies. Yeah, I don't know what else would be holding them in place. Not every fury hit their mark, though. The ones that missed eventually made their way to the human world. So those furies and their fairies ended up like me. Hmm. I don't get it. What's up with this place, anyway? Using the fury we obtained earlier, we will remove the swords that are stabbed into the goddess. What, now? Are you saying you're gonna remove this goddess's seal? Precisely. All right, we're about to wrap things up. I'm gonna wish for all the tasty food I could stomach. Wow. Yeah, I thought so much for collecting a hundred furies. We only need one. Thanks, Kiwi. She's not gonna revive just by removing one or two swords. And more importantly, what did you mean by using the fury? We must transfer the fairy residing in this fury to one of the dormant furies, activate it, and then pull it out. And that will and that will revive the goddess? No. There is something else we need to do in addition to that, but I do not exactly know what that is. How do you not know the most important part? And how do you know all about this anyway? Even I didn't know about this place. Probably Kiwi. A fencer must educate themselves about the goddess and the vile god. It is far stranger that you two know nothing about this at all. That doesn't explain where you learned this from. Besides, the only reason we are able to visit this place is because of Kiwi. Of course, if you weren't missing your memories, you would already know all this, right? This must be embarrassing for you. Uh, I... I can't think of a response. Hey Fang, don't just stand there, say something! Huh. So, basically, we gotta collect fairies so we can use the fairies inside them to release the seal, right? So if our original goal hasn't changed, then... who cares, right? Well, yes. Uh, also, if you attempt to remove a sword, something will attack you, so be careful. What? What, what do you mean, something? It's probably... Some kind of defense mechanism that protects the seal. Shouldn't that just be the swords? That seems like a pretty good defense mechanism. 
That's right. It can be quite difficult to handle. Please be careful when you pull out the swords. So you've already tried to do that? Well, it seems furies that are bonded to a fencer can't be used. Perhaps that's because the pact they formed is still in effect. You sound like you've experienced this before. This better not be a trap. I would do no such thing. Okay. You think I forgot about that tea stun you pulled? S such details are irrelevant. The three of us are all trying to revive the goddess, correct? Well, I mean... I don't see why we can't revive the vile god, I'm just saying. Then it's settled. We will collect the Furies and break the Goddess's seal. Understood? I wish we knew some other way to do this. We just gotta roll with it, I guess. Kree! Ugh. So much voice. Or so much lack of voice, rather. About Godly Revival. Godly Revival lets you remove the Fury Seals containing the Goddess and Vile God. To do so, you need a fairy from a fury you've collected. Select the vile god or goddess. I can revive the vile god. I kind of want to revive the vile god. I'm just saying. First, choose either the goddess or vile god. Of course, no sane person would ever choose the vile god. <laughs> Next, select which fury seal you want to remove. Each one has an assigned rank, so you need a fairy whose rank also matches. Oh, so I can use my DLC, fellas. Good to know, if I wanted to. Choose a fairy to help you remove the fury seal, then transfer it to the fury. Activate it and pull it out. Make sure you compare the fairy's abilities with the furies. Uh, okay. When you're ready, confirm the selection. Your selection. Enemies will appear as a defense mechanism, or as a defense measure. So watch out for warnings. Also, once a fairy is transferred, it cannot be undone. Uh, your revival rank shows the highest rank of fury that you have removed thus far. You open boost options. Ooh! By releasing the seal of fury, can use the ability to- Okay, yeah. If you win, you will successfully remove the fury seal, and you have access to its ability too. It's very useful. When you get a new fury, remove the seal right away. Got it. About the goddess and vile god. It's said that the goddess and vile god were created from light and darkness respectively. These deities fought each other long ago and eventually sealed each other away. Allegedly, the goddess fought to protect all life, including the lives of humans, while the vile gods sought to return all existence to nothingness. The Fury's power is keeping them sealed, but so much time has passed that the seals are starting to weaken. Like Tiara said, we may have to fix the seals ourselves. If the vile god ever awakens instead of the goddess, the world will come to an apocalyptic end. So we need to do our best to collect the Furies to prevent that. Just to reiterate, you're collecting furies in order to release the goddess's seal. If you release the vile god seal, all kinds of terrible stuff can happen. Be careful breaking seals, okay? Got it. Totally got it. Wait, no, no, yeah, yeah, we're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now because I need to save before I make some very bad decisions that are or irrevocable. The Sealed Deities, yeah. We also have another sub-event. Um, I don't know what... W oh, wait, please! It's dangerous to get so close to the Vile God! Let us pull out one of the Goddess's swords! But I don't want to! But I wanna I wanna I wanna revive the vile god! No, uh fine. I'll take out one of the goddesses swords for now. Okay, so we have an S, the goddess's blessing. So many swords! So many swords! Okay, yeah, we have a goddess's blessing. That's probably gonna be very difficult. Um Yeah, I don't have any I guess DLC fairies can't be used. Um, yeah, we only have one sea fairy. There's only one sea thing here, so... Angel's Luck obtained experience plus 30%! I did like that a lot! Um... Increases all gold and EXP earned. We get exp 
Oh, Angel's Luck. World Shaping. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, have fun, self. Borrow this fairy's power. I release you, self, into the fury! An ominous presence resides in the sword. Pull it out? Yes. Battle Let's start! Go. Okay! Bad things are about to happen! What? Okay, that hurt. Uh, this is gonna hurt too. Um... No. Bye, Tiara! Bye, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, let's do this. You're... <laughs> you didn't even get a chance. I can revive you, I guess. Yeah, Here. I probably should. There you go. The power of Burt Toast compels uh, you. I'm all right. <sighs> all right. Slice the target with a dancing slash. Um, I can only hit one. Um... Okay, well this will hit them. I don't know how much it'll hit them. For how much damage, but we'll try it! We did save, so whatever. Raging waters! Okay, they're weak to it! And did it nothing, really. Okay, alright! Okay! Maybe, maybe we grind up before we pull out a goddess sword. Right? That seems like a good idea. Because I think we're about to die. Um... Just, just saying, think we're about to die. Get ready. Yep, get, get ready. Get, get set. Here. Here you go, Tiara. Come back to me. And for now, for like a second, it's not over you're yet. dead. Not, not yet. Almost. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're dead. Failed. Oh, we don't lose anything for failing. We can just do it again. That's nice. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hold off because, um, we're gonna have to grind to do that. Um, there are new people here. Dorfa. Ah, uh, old men. The Dorfa Corporation does everything. They've got all kinds of stuff, such as vegetables, fish, meat, and booze. That makes them sound like a restaurant. Other than that, they also sell tombstones, offer travel packages, and manage real estate as well. That's a huge leap. Desert flowers. Hey, mister! Do flowers bloom in the desert? Huh? Is this some kind of riddle? I heard that lots of flowers are blooming in the desert. If it's true, I want to go see them. I did hear about that. Well, I saw them myself. I saw the guy plant his fury in the ground and it grew flowers, which was interesting. Maybe it's from the blood of his enemies. Oh, good timing. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? I'm taking requests. Seriously? Meat! Give me something meaty! Really? Seems like a waste of my cooking skills. Oh well, I'll feed you as much meat as you want, so look forward to that. I... Will! Absolutely! Where do I talk to you? Yes! Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Right, right, right. Uh, anyone new over here? A man with a rumor. I heard someone rescued some travelers in the desert from bandits. They said he was an angel or something. I see. Whoever he is, he sounds like a nice person. Plus, they said he's strikingly handsome young man. Oh? I thought I was the only one. <laughs> okay. Sure. Still nothing? Nothing about, nothing about furies? Eh? Okay. Um... You got nothing else useful for me. Uh, well, um... I guess I'm gonna grind until I can pull out that sword, because I can't pull it out right now until I... Get some more experience. I guess we could check out... You know, that sounds like a really bad idea. I couldn't handle Z-Bits. I don't know if I'm gonna handle... Fucking Final Shark... Zombie X... Or... Phantom... And Cave Sharks. 
I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, we did actually. We got transported out of here before we could see everything in this dungeon. So let's go see what was over by Tiara's side of things. If there were any items I was supposed to collect. My turn. Oh yeah, and I guess we could. I mean, I, we we technically did just fight with you, but we can fight with you anyways. And you one shot these guys. Great. At least with the the skill. I mean, should because we one shot them with a uh, fang. So. Let's do this! Oh! Right! Combos! Um... This hits him in the air, right? Which Next. does parts break. Get out of here! Okay. I get, I get movement-based combos. That's interesting and different. Different and interesting. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of you guys. That's good. One of you is a dangerous yeah. enemy, the rest aren't. Here I come! For some reason, I don't know why that is, but I'm just going to water sport you anyways. Let's do this. Didn't kill you, but shooting strike should. Next. There you go. That was nothing. Strike your victory pose 40 times. Yeah, I guess we could make Tiara the leader. Do we get different things for doing that? Um I don't know. Formation? Alright, I can change my formation freely! That's nice. Um Yeah, no, you could you can stay there for now. We can have six members in the front? We get six members on the battlefield! What the fuck? That's a lot of people. I mean, cool. Every combo technique has a yeah, okay, great. I can learn about these. A normal technique will knock back enemies easier. Pursues launched enemies. Okay. Normal attacks are well normal. Launch attacks can lift an enemy into the air. After a while, they will fall back to the ground. But if you use an air attack before the launch enemy falls to the ground, you can jump up and attack them while they're still in the air. Air attacks do more damage to launch enemies than to landbound enemies. Enemies. Wow, that's so useful. Plus, air attacks can still be used to damage enemies who are on the land. They're useful in every situation. How convenient. During a combo edit, make sure you assign an air attack right after a launch attack. If you don't, there's no point to launching. Remember that. Okay. In case your combo is wet with weapon boost. Yeah, I got it. Can't change your first technique, starting for your second. Alright. Signing is easy. Great. I'm, I'm getting bored now. I'm getting bored now about weapon transformation! Various can change form depending on the situation. You can use the future to learn. Okay, they can transform from swords. Great. Um, some forms that Furies can assume are as follows. Axes, glaives, knuckles, sides, and so forth. Swords aren't everything. Weapon forms will allow you to exploit the weaknesses of different enemies or deal extra damage to their parts. Similarly, power forms can have drastically different effects. Great. Awesome. Um, so this is a normal attack. I can't change that. Um, I can change these. I mean, I can change this to this, so... At least I have an option. Um, I can't change. Yeah. You have this. Nagi flashes through the target. The extended reach allows you to attack, attack from further back than normal. Okay, and this changes to an axe. That's interesting. And I don't have a second thing, so there's no reason to do either of these two. Because I don't have a third one that can uh, attack them. Um, right, that, that doesn't answer my question. Uh, you, I know you have abilities. You have ice support right now. But do we have leader abilities? Leader skills? Um, I don't think so. Increase the same attribute damage. I don't know what that means. Same attribute damage. I don't know. Does that mean if I use fire damage, it'll increase fire damage? That doesn't make sense. I assume it just means if I use ice damage. But I don't have ice attacks, but whatever. Guess we can be TR for now. As weird as she fucking is. Uh, and there's the exit to the dungeon. Great. You Guess ready? we can I'm ready. grind up here for a little bit. Get ready. 